Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, we are going to learn Filmora 13 user interface in less than five minutes. Okay, so I hope this video is helpful for you. All right, so we're going to talk about the preview window, the timeline, and also the most important folder in Filmora 13. For those of you who want to use Filmora 13, go ahead to the link in the description to download the program. And if you want to purchase the software, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code to save your money. All right, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so this is my Filmora 13 user interface. So first thing, if you want to start editing video, you want to select your favorite layout first. This is the default layout. If you want to change it to other layout, you want to click this layout option. And now you have five more layout options for you. For example, you want to be organized like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. You want to select the organized layout. As you can see here on the left side, you have the media folder and the most important folder. And at the center of the window, you have the preview window. The property panel is on the right side and here you have a timeline. For this layout, the timeline is a little bit shorter than other layouts. And Filmora 13 has more layout for you. For example, if you want to create short video, TikTok video or Instagram video, you want to change the layout to short video. For me, I love using the classic layout because the layout is similar to Filmora 12 and Filmora 11. Okay, so I'm going to switch to classic layout. So now you are at the classic layer option and in my opinion, it is very simple to navigate. On the right side of the window, you have the preview window. This is the window where you can preview the media inside your media library or you can preview anything on the timeline. If you put anything on the timeline, it will be displayed here. So if you put the playhead here at this empty area, your preview window will be a black screen like this. Okay, so I'm going to put the playhead here and here at the preview window, you have an option to select the preview quality or the playback quality. You can select half if your computer is not strong enough. Okay, and you can play the video and you can go one frame forward and one frame backward. Added to that, you can also add in point and out point for your media or add a selected portion of your timeline with this button in and out. And you can adjust the in point and out point here. If you want to change the zoom level of the preview window, all you need to do is to right click here and select zoom level. This is fit or you can select 10%, 25%, 50% or even 200%. For example, I can change it to 50% and you see here we have a navigate button here. Okay, so to get rid of this navigate button, all you need to do is to right click here, select zoom level again and select fit. Okay, and you can also preview in full screen with this button also. And you can press the escape button to come back to normal preview screen. And being mentioned that with Filmora 13, you can customize your layout like the way you want. For example, if I want to move this preview window to another monitor, I can just click here at the edge of the window and then I can drag it to anywhere I want. Okay, so for example, I can move it to another monitor on my computer. And you can do the same with the timeline and also other part here in the user interface. For example, if I want to move the timeline, I can just click here and then I can drag it to another monitor. So this is how you can customize your Filmora 13 user interface. And if you want to put it back to normal, you want to just click here or you can just click the layout option here to reset it to normal. So that is about the preview window and down here at the bottom of the window is the timeline. This timeline is divided in two sections. The top section is the video section. You see here, video track, video track, and the bottom section is the audio section. So it is the audio file, audio file. So you want to do sound design or add background music or stuff like that. You want to drag and drop the music file to this section at the bottom. Okay, and for this timeline, you can overlay video and overlay sticker, anything. So all the sticker and video effect or stuff like that you can put it here on top of your video track and it will play like this okay so this is the timeline and you can zoom in and zoom out the timeline with this button you can also scroll the timeline to the right or to the left to see different section on the timeline and being mentioned that on top of the timeline we have many function button you select anything on the timeline we see the function button for example if i select this emoji I will see the undo button, the delete button, the split button, and crop button. And I can change the speed of the emoji also. 
we can talk about this function button in another video because there are too many buttons here to talk about. All right, so that is about the timeline. And the most important area of firmware 13 user interface is on the left side. Here you have the media where you can import your video, image, background music, sound effect, or stuff like that to the program. So you want to edit video, you want to import them first. And at this media folder, you have the project folder and you have the global media so where you can store the intro sound effect or music or stuff like that if you want to reuse them in your next project you want to import it to this global media and here you have the cloud media if you upload anything to the cloud you see it here and the adjustment layer for color grading and the compound clip which is a new feature in Filmora 13 okay and here you have the stock media with Filmora 13, you can use their own media library or you can create your own image with the AI image button or you can even use the stock media from their partner. Now they have partnership with Pixel, Jiffy, Pixabay, Unsplash but before using this stock footage, you want to read the license term carefully. And next up is the audio folder where you can import your own music and sound effect and you can also find sound effect and music from Wondershare here also. But it is similar to stock media. You want to read the license term before using it on any social media platform. And next up is the title folder where you can find text template, plain text and VFX text, 3D title, stuff like that. So you want to find text or you want to create a title for your video. You want to go to this title and just download it and drag and drop it onto the timeline. So there are many title templates here in Filmora 13. And to be honest, it is one of the biggest title template library I've ever used. And next up is the transition. With Filmora 13, you have a bunch of different free transition you can use for your video. So it is very simple. Just download them and edit to your video. For example, you want to use this one, just click here to download it, beam transition number two, and then you can drag and drop it on your video okay that's easy right and if you want to add video effect or audio effect you can just find it right here at the effect folder and we have sticker with the overlay that you can add to your video like emoji subscribe button and also other overlay here and finally is the template folder where you can find the template ready to use template like the intro or video template and split screen template right here okay all right so that's everything you want to know about Filmora 13 user interface i hope this video is helpful for you to access more tutorial just click on the link at Filmora creator hub at the start page of the program if you like the video just hit the like button and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye